All right, guys, we got some major, major news in the Madden 22 world today. We have a patch um, that is coming at 11 a.m. Eastern time, uh, 8 a.m. Pacific time. And I wanted to just quickly show you uh, a couple of notes here on this. And I wanted to then go into practice mode and share with you a couple of things that I think you really should be aware of. So uh, we're just going to jump over here and uh, into our screen mode. And I just want to show this tweet from Zan. Now, there was a screenshot that he took that's basically directly from uh, the, the direct Directly from EA's, EA's um, Good Morning Madden stream. So just bear with me here as I get this kind of set up. But uh, guys, this is huge, 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 huge. So here's what we need to see. Okay, we've got tuning to outside cover three deep zones. Uh, giving too, up too much space versus corner routes with no other vertical receiving threat in the area. Tuning to cover three deep zones versus bunch flood concepts. And tuning to outside cover three deep zones to better anticipate threats coming from across the field with no other threats to their zone. So that's what that's saying right there is that is saying crossing routes. Um, that is saying crossing routes like deep crossers from PA boot over or PA counter go out of trips tight in. That is something that's going to be very interesting to see how this works. Now I'm going to break down what I believe is going to be the new meta here in just a second. Um, but I want to continue to go through this tweet that he's he's got right here but basically what it comes down to is if you can see here it also says resolved an issue with flipped play art when base aligning and choosing a new play so hopefully these are some things that are going to help the defense out and be able to make it a little bit more manageable for us uh, to be able to play defense okay so that being said i want to jump over uh to gameplay here and again if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe i post new videos like this every single day and they're designed to help you get better at Madden 22. Also, if you want to join my text message membership, it's completely free for you. You get free offensive and defensive schemes every single every single week. Uh, free offensive and defensive schemes sent directly to your cell phone. The way you sign up for that is to text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. So let's talk about the new meta. I actually am really excited to share this with you because this is a, a blitz that I've been sitting on for a while and honestly not sure how to use it because cover three has been so bad but now with this patch i'm really hopeful that this is going to be a very good meta and we're going to jump into practice mode once the patch drops and actually break down some things from the title update but let's just jump in here and um this comes to us out of the 245 odd now i've got a defensive guide on 245 odd and we've been basing a lot of our coverage scheme out of cover two and the reason why is because cover three and cover four are terrible in this game unless it's cover four match in my opinion they just don't do anything the deep zones do nothing in this game so i've resorted to playing cover two mostly now that being said, I think cover two is still going to be an integral part of the defense. I think in this year's game, you're going to have to mix and match your coverages. You can't just sit and cover three all game. At least we'll see in the patch. But here's a concept that I'm super excited for. This LB cross three show two. Now, the way that this is going to work is we're going to be able to get some pressure out of this concept, but we're also going to be able to have really good coverage. I think this five-man blitz is going to come back, especially there, there's a, a, another patch coming, uh, I think next, hopefully in a, a couple, either a week or two, I'm hoping, um, that's going to fix flat zones and actually make them react to the ball. But let me show you this. This is LB Cross 3 Show 2. Now, all I'm going to do is I am going to back the bunch off. Um, and put it on the hash mark here. And I want to show you what the problem is right now. So I haven't got the patch yet. This is just uh, a preview of what's to come. And this is what I see the problem as being. Against bunch sets, I think it makes a lot of sense in this year's game to base a line. I really do, um, because of the outside leverage it's going to provide. But the problem has been that if I call the play, let's just say, for example, PA dig fork, and I don't, I mean, I'll just put a delay fade on the field, and you don't even have to put a streak. Um, you could do whatever you want. I'll just leave the post. But watch this corner route. You're going to see that outside third is going to do absolutely nothing, and I can throw that route with consistency, which basically ruins my pressure concept, to be honest. So how do we, how do we can combat this now is we can do something to essentially this extent we're going to baseline press our coverage and then what i like to do is spread my defensive line i'm going to crash my defensive line to the right and then i actually like to blitz this linebacker here and i'm going to be usering on this guy right here collins and i'm going to put him in a purple zone now what i can do off of this is now i can put that deep safety on the right on the left in a purple zone and i can play something to this extent right here where i've got good hard flat coverage and 
I know I'm going to get instant pressure at the quarterback. We're either going to get that looping A-gap pressure or we're going to get some edge pressure. So this is a concept that I think is going to become very, very uh, effective in this game. It's just going to depend on how these zones play. I do think that if you base a line and press those zones, they are going to play significantly better than if you don't. And the reason why is because of, in my opinion, just how the game is going to work in this year's game. It's setting up to be a year where ideally you run a base and line type of defense. You're going to see here again the pressure. There you see that A gap. But what you're going to see from this is you're going to see these outside thirds are going to start playing really well. I really think that that's going to happen because the community has been just absolutely insane. We also have a bunch of players with 91 zone. So my advice would be take your three people who have 91 zone or four and put them at safety corner and corner and safety. And then you can essentially sit in this. And then if you want to drop some extra additional coverage, what you can also do is we can drop a three man uh, pressure out of this where literally all we're going to do is we're going to drop the left of screen guy into a hard flat. We're going to drop the right of screen. Uh, we're going to take this linebacker right here and drop him into a hard flat. And then we can basically use her on, you know, the safety or this linebacker. So it could look something like this. We've got Mabel coverage across the board, a three-man pressure. This will sometimes come in, doesn't always come in. But this is going to be something that I think you're going to find a lot of success with because that crossing route is no longer going to be an issue. So just want to give a quick update. Patches on the way. It's going to be out in 10 minutes. So I'm going to be going live here, doing a little bit of a live lab session on this and giving you some updates as, po as soon as possible. Thanks for being supportive of the channel. And I'm excited about this. I just want to get this out there to you. Cover three might be making a comeback. Be sure to jump in the lab, download that update, and check it out.